Well, guys, we just went through a day of being updated on the Y14.5 standard to the 2009 revision. What do you think? Uh, well, I guess looking back at it, um, the profile controls are, are kind of a big thing for me. They really expanded the surface profile section. Um, the addition of non-uniform zones to smooth transitions between uh, uh, profile control zones is, is important. It's a new way of documenting it. They've included an all-over symbol where we used to have all-arounds uh, to, to control the profile around uh, contiguous geometries. Now we have an all-around, sorry, all-over symbol. Um, it supports general surface profile tolerancing, which has been a, a real big issue for moving towards solid-based um, yes. design and manufacturing. So it's a big step forward in that way. They've also expanded uh, composite controls to include uh, pattern controls with surface profile. And Frank, you were saying something about it appears that the standard has been revised to keep up with technology. I think it has. Uh, as technology's changed over the years, CMMs have gotten better. We can measure tighter and tighter tolerances. CM CNC machines have gotten better. We can make tighter and tighter, achieve tighter and tighter tolerances on parts. So therefore, our standard, Y14.5 in 2009, is trying to accommodate that. We've expanded datums quite a bit so we can use these irregular shapes, these irregular features as a datum feature. Like the sheet metal parts, a lot of molded plastic, they don't have regular features of size. That's correct. A lot of the different shapes you see in castings and powder metal parts, that we're now able to utilize those different shapes as datums. Wasn't available before. Well, one problem I always had was most of the default rules can be overridden in one way or another, but we never could override datum precedence. And now with this customized datum reference framework, we can override datum precedence to better reflect how parts really work. The, the other thing that we've done is we've added new symbols. Uh, oh, how many are there? I, th I believe there's seven new symbols, but the one that stands out for me is a principal independency symbol. Ah, instead of we had to write a long note. Instead of having to write a note about that, we don't do that anymore. Now we have a symbol that says we want these two features to be unlocked from rule number one. So I don't have to worry about form, form or size controls form anymore. Yeah, when you have a feature of size with a fairly tight size tolerance, but it's a really long feature, rule one became pretty impractical. We've got the new symbol translation modifier, uh, which allows you to shift the data feature simulator into place and movable datum targets. These are important for industry because it reflects their actual practices and there hasn't been a way to do this previously. So it, it reflects, again, real technology, the way that the world is working, the way manufacturing is working. So it's kind of catching up with the standard. But we used to have these, these elements within a fixture that would slide to contact the part, but there wasn't a good way to actually state that on the drawing. And I also think there was some confusion in the 1994 standard between the standard itself and the math standard, there was a discrepancy there, but now that's been cleared up by use of these new symbols. Another new symbol is continuous feature symbol. Uh, many times you have a feature that's interrupted, and we know in manufacturing process they're going to machine the whole surface of the whole diameter and put undercuts in there. Before, if we wanted to put a form control, we'd have to put it on each of those diameters where all these interruptions were. Now we have a continuous feature symbol, we could just treat them as a single feature of size, and then rule number one applies. We eliminate a call out on those things. Nice. They've finally um, addressed the uh, spot face issue as well. Um, spot faces and counterboards used to be treated the same with the same symbology. And they've recognized now that the root diameter of a spot face is really the critical thing, and the radius is defined beyond that in the walls. So they've addressed it with a new uh, SF counterboard spot face symbol. There was actually a lawsuit that Frank and I were involved with that, that got into that. Um, a lot of money was involved because they didn't understand what a spot face really is. That's been cleared up now. Another new symbol is the unilateral or unequal symbol uh, that we use for profile, Jim. Oh, I'll cir circle you. I'm so used to using it by writing it to addendums that I've gotten used to it. Yeah, it's a great symbol <laughs> to add in. <laughs> with, with everybody going to solid modeling, the old technique of having an unequal bilateral tolerance or a unilateral tolerance for a profile was to put phantom lines on a model. Well, in many cases, those phantom lines are not associative, so when you move the model around, you have these phantom lines sticking out here in midair. Uh, a technique in 14.5 now, it came from 1441, we brought it over, was to use a U symbol, which means unequal or unilateral, and it saves us from having to put those phantom lines on the model. So in addition to introducing new concepts and new symbols, the standard has been brought up to speed with the other standards, 
that have been revised since 1994. As well as expanding some of the concepts, which we've again done with Profile, where we're seeing the three-tiered composite now. You know, the other thing I noticed is that virtual condition on a, a datum used to be very confusing. People would say, well, what condition is your condition in? And now by using boundaries to explain how to work with the datum simulators, it makes a lot more sense and takes the confusion out that we had with virtual condition when applied to datums. Yes, and there's some new terms, and along with that we have maximum material boundary and list material boundary, so when we see the modifiers on the datum references, now it has a, they all have a common term. So there's a lot of things that have changed in the, the standard. We have new concepts, we have uh, expansion of principles, we have brought it up to date with the other Y14 standards. And in about a day's time, you too can be updated to this 2009 revision of the Y14-5 standard.